So who remembers Wally? It's a very fascinating film in general, but of all the Pixar movies from the 2000s, Wally was the movie I watched the least of. Not because it's bad, no, not at all. I just didn't really watch much of it. I watched it once in school, thought it was cute, but I didn't really think much of it. I just don't have a lot of memories with this movie. But that all changed recently. I decided to give it a full watch it deserved on Disney Plus, and wow, it's such a great film. I love this story. The relationship between Wally and Eva is so adorable and absolutely wholesome. The messages are pretty interesting to read into, some of them being pretty relevant nowadays. It also looks great for 2008, like they really nailed an abandoned earth pretty well. Now I wouldn't say this is one of my favorite Pixar movies. It's a movie that I have to be in the mood to rewatch. It's not something like Monsters Inc. or Ratatouille where I will always rewatch them whenever they're on. With Wally, -E, I have to be in the mood for it specifically. It's not something I can rewatch on a whim. But don't misunderstand me. This is a great film, and you should give it a watch, especially with how relevant it is nowadays. Now, as for game adaptations, I have absolutely no idea what these are like. Same developers as last time, and like Ratatouille, there are two different console games. It's not even consistent though with which versions are which like last time. So to give you a breakdown, again, Asobo developed the PS2 and PC version, but that same game was also ported to the PSP by Savage Entertainment. Before anyone asks, yeah, I know Cars and Ratatouille did get PSP versions too, but the reason I didn't mention them in those respective videos was that they were completely different games. Since, again, I'm trying to focus more on console versions of games. But Wally on PSP is the same game on PS2 and PC, so that's why I'm gonna mention it here. Now Heavy Iron did the Xbox 360, PS3, and now Wii version. Yeah, Asobo did the Wii version of Ratatouille last time, but I guess now the Wii version is the Heavy Iron version? That's <laughs> so weird. But yeah, to summarize, these are the Asobo versions, with that same game also being ported to the PSP by a different developer, and these are the Heavy Iron versions. I am so, so sorry if I may be confusing you guys right now. I hope you understand, this made my head spin when I was trying to research which versions are which. So, we'll look at the PS2 and Wii version specifically for this video. You may be wondering why not the much better PS3 or Xbox 360 version? Eh, I just want a bit more variety in terms of the consoles I showcase. Also, again, unfortunately I can't speak about either of these two's multiplayer since I didn't have anyone near me for that. So. Unfortunately, that's gonna get skipped in this video. But anyways, let's start with the Asobo PS2 version first, since this was the one I heard the most things about. Now starting off, I love that there is a little prologue level at the beginning where we see Wally and other Wally bots in training. It's not much, but it's really cute. After that, the story is pretty much exactly the same as the film. And that goes for the Wii version too, except for one big thing that they share that is different from the film. So if you remember in the film, Wally gets zapped by Otto and Eve saves Wally from the garbage airlock. In the game, however, it's the opposite. Eve is zapped by Otto and Wally has to rescue her in the garbage airlock. The reason it's different in the game is because that was actually a deleted scene where it was supposed to be just that but they changed it in the final movie as what we know now, but the game still retains the original deleted scene. I will say I do prefer the final film though, I feel it's more appropriate for Eve to save Wally as it fits much better with her development throughout the film. Still really interesting the game still has this though. On the PS2, I think the game looks pretty nice. I like the models, but like a Sobo Ratatouille, there is so much bloom. I think it's even more apparent here. Like everything looks like it's made of sunlight. It's, again, really weird. Other than that, it all looks pretty good for a PS2 game. Also, the cursed game over screens are back from Ratatouille, and they're not as disturbing, but still a few of them are freaky. So we have three different gameplay styles. 
Firstly, we have the standard gameplay with Wally where it's all about puzzles and exploration. Despite how simple Wally is as a character, you can do quite a bit with him. You can curl up into a cube, which is used to destroy crates and getting through those tight spaces. He also has a laser beam that's not something I expected he had. Wally can go really fast, which usually is good for those fast paced stages and going up ramps. Wally of course can make those junk cubes and use them to solve puzzles and switch some switches. Switch some switches, that sounded a lot better in my head. Wally has a little radio button you could use to attract robots near you for some puzzles. Yeah, that's a lot he can do, and the best part is that Wally controls really nice. Also, I love how you heal Wally. You stand in sunlight to get sun energy. That's really adorable. I will say though, I think Wally's regular stages, they're alright. None of them were bad at all. Most of them were pretty solid. But there weren't a ton that I would say were very memorable. Like, I can't tell you the names of each level and what you do in them since there isn't really a whole lot of variety in the environments you travel through. Although the thing is, the movie didn't have that many different environments to go through either, so I can get why the game didn't have many either. I like the puzzles though, nothing too crazy complicated, but they were decent, and I like some of the ideas a few of them introduce. Like I really like this one where you throw a charged cube to pull a much bigger cube to the switch. That's a pretty cool one. I do also enjoy the ones where you need to call your robots to help you out. The main core gameplay of Wally is solid. There is a second gameplay style in these laser stages. They're pretty simple, you're just using Wally's laser and shooting at enemies and obstacles. There aren't very many of them, but for what they are, I like them just fine enough. And the music for these stages are really good too. In fact, I really like this soundtrack in general. I love it's this cool space techno, but we also get some intense music too. It all fits Wally really well. You can even change Wally's radio and have the two best songs from Rise of the Underminer and Ratatouille to listen to. That's sick. The only other gameplay style is Eve's stages. These are basically on rails flying levels where you guide Eve and shoot up anything that comes your way. I like these a lot. Maybe it's because I really like on-rail shooters like Star Fox, but I had a lot of fun with these stages. Though again, there are only a handful of them. But still, these are really fun stages. So, I do enjoy all three gameplay styles. However, I will admit, my biggest problem with the game is its pacing. It's mostly a problem once you get on the Axiom. Because I swear, some of these stages take way too long to finish. Like, I've had stages go on for 20 minutes at least, which got me pretty burnt out by the end. Like, I'm not against long levels, but these just dragged on for way too long. Like the garbage stage where you're fixing Eve. This goes on for like nearly a half hour, which it didn't really need to be this long. Like, here's the thing. As a whole, I think it's a good game. All the gameplay styles are solid, the presentation is pretty good, I love the cutscenes, it's adorable. There's a ton of stuff to collect too, such as these earth relics, and all of them have unique cutscenes to them, and they're also really adorable. There's even an epilogue stage that takes place after the movie that's really cool. It's a good game, but that pacing is a huge problem. I got really tired out by the end because of how much these levels drag on. So if you are going to play this, maybe get it on the PSP instead. I feel this game could work a lot better in small bursts rather than a big binge like I did on the PS2 version. But yeah, it's a solid game. I just personally think it goes on for too long. But what about the Heavy Iron version on the 7th gen systems? How does that stack up? Well, the Heavy Iron versions I didn't hear much about, and looking at the reviews at the time, 
they were considerably lower than the Asobo developed versions, so I was a little worried about playing them, especially since their version of Ratatouille was inferior in almost every way to the Asobo versions. But I was still really curious about them, and I always have an optimistic mindset when I get into these things. So this version is pretty much nothing like the Asobo version. It's not like the Ratatouille game where, okay, both versions, while they were still different games, they did share a lot of mechanics and levels. Here, the only similarities are that it has the same music and obviously the same story. But other than that, these two are completely separate games. While the Asobo slash PS2 version was about puzzles and exploration with a few shooting stages, the Heavy Iron and Wii version is more of an action platformer with way more shooting than the other version. So I gotta say, I absolutely love how Wally controls. It's so much fun to control him. Like the PS2 one, he controlled pretty nice, but here I just love the movement he has. You could turn him into a cube and have him flying over the place. It's really fun. While he doesn't have his laser, he can hold up to three junk cubes in this game, he throws them really fast, much faster than the other version. But his laser is instead replaced by Eve. Yeah, in some stages you control both Wally and Eve. With Eve, you can shoot a laser blast and could fly for a little bit. It's a really fun addition. I really like seeing Wally and Eve working together in these stages. Also, there is a stage where Wally uses Eve's cannon and he just goes on a complete rampage. Like, I know this kind of happened in the movie, but here Wally just goes on a complete rampage and shoots all the robots with it. It's so ridiculous but hilarious to think about that Wally goes on a complete murder spree in this game. Now, getting back to Eve. She still has her own stages, some of them are still on rails flying stages, though they are completely different. She now has big areas to explore to find certain items. Eve controls pretty well though, in fact I will say that the motion controls on the Wii version work pretty good. It's responsive and I never had any problems with them. I could see someone not digging these controls if you really dislike motion controls in general. So you may want to go with the PS3 or 360 version if you want a traditional control scheme. But for Eve's exploration levels, I think they're pretty decent. I probably prefer her on rail stages from the PS2 version overall, but I like these just fine. Just could have been a little bit more to them, that's all. At least on the Wii, this game looks really good. It probably looks a lot better on 360 and PS3, obviously, but even on the Wii, it looks really nice. I could say it looks a lot better than the PS2 version. You still have collectibles to get in the form of these giant wallops, but the thing I really like about this version is that the pacing is so much better. Every level has a good pace to them. They don't drag forever like some of the stages in the PS2 version do. It does result in a much shorter game, sure, but unlike the other version, it didn't burn me out. It kept a really good pace. I guess again, the only real problem I have with this version is, again, like the PS2 one, I wish there was a bit more variety to the environments you travel through, but again, I can understand why this is. But yeah, Wally surprisingly has two pretty solid console games. I wouldn't say these are like the best Pixar games so far or anything like that. I just liked both games just fine. They're good games. I don't know what else you want me to say. Now personally, if I have to recommend one or the other, then I would pick up the Heavy Iron slash Wii version. I just really like the controls here and it has a much better pace. But if you're more into the puzzle aspect and want a longer game, then go for the Asobo slash PS2 version. It's still a solid game on its own. So yeah, pick whichever type of game you're more into. They're both solid games on their own. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of both of them and which one do you prefer? I'm curious to see where you guys thoughts on on this. Alrighty, only two more Pixar videos for this marathon. Next up, we'll be doing both game adaptations of Up 
And finally, after that, to conclude the marathon for now, we'll take a look at Toy Story 3's games. Hope you all look forward to both videos. And, well, I hope you all have an amazing day. And take care. Bye.